I had a module sent to me quite a while ago now, and unfortunately I've had a lot on, so it's just been sat in the workshop, in its box, waiting for me to play it. The last time I had a review kit, I really enjoyed sharing that initial part of the process with you. So I thought, why not do that again? Let's crack the box open, have a look inside, get it set up on the kit and see what it's all about. A nice little piece of cardboard. I've been sent these uh, two box trigger triggers. This will be featured in another video. Some lovely two box drumsticks, beautiful. So this is the Drummit 5 Mark II. It's got the uh, universal trigger engine in it. You get a quick start guide in there, nice one. Ah, oh, brilliant, it comes with a mount. Got a headphone, line in, six direct outs, four toms, three lots of symbols with additional inputs for the symbols, hi-hat A and B, presumably pedal and controller, and you've got the snare and the kick. Got a full midi in and midi out, and that's where the power adapter goes. So my main concern has always been with this module, how small this screen is. It's even smaller than a lot of Roland screens. So I'm gonna see how well I get on with that. And you've got preview buttons here for every single pad. Don't know whether that's necessary, maybe. A more button, lovely. So I guess we'll see exactly what all of this does when we get to it. Just some information about the power supply.
All right, well, first impressions are pretty positive. Um, as always, at this particular point, when I'm just getting to grips with something new, there are a couple of things that do need ironing out, but that was to be expected. And as I suspected, I do find that little screen a little bit fiddly, uh, and the menus didn't seem too obvious to navigate to begin with. However, now that I've spent a little bit of time with it, it is getting a little bit easier, and they do seem reasonably well laid out. The onboard sounds are good, some are definitely better than others, and some of that comes down to the volume mixing. Sometimes the snares feel like they're a lot louder on one kit than on another or the toms for example and this really seems to come into play with some of the kits that have got loops set to some of the pads the loops are triggered by velocity so sometimes they sound really loud compared to the kit but to be honest that's not really a game breaker i'm sure that you could just go in and change the volumes on those if you want to and to be fair volume issues aside the actual sounds are much better than a lot of presets that come on modules that have uh, you know launched much later than this one did dialing in the triggers with this new universal trigger engine and seemed pretty flexible and reasonably simple. Lots of different pad types are supported and there seem to be a good amount of controls, though I couldn't seem to spot scan time, which is a bit of a weird one. And I definitely haven't got all of my pads perfect yet, so that's going to take a little bit of time. I also seem to have a little bit of trouble with my uh, Zorman converter cable, which I recently did a video about. It's supposed to give me all three zones over one cable from my ATV or my lemon symbol, and I'm pretty sure it was designed with this module in mind. But for some reason I seem to be getting slightly shaky results so I'm going to investigate that. Last time I used it it was working fine on my Mimic Pro but yeah that definitely warrants looking into a little bit more and all around I'm going to do lots of experimenting with different trigger settings. All of that aside though the main draw of this module one of the main reasons it's got a pretty dedicated fan base is the ability to import multi-layered samples. That's really going to be the main test of this module so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that and I actually have something pretty special like up for that so stay tuned. So as always with a review like this I'm going to be diving into the manual, I'm going to be testing it a lot and I'm going to be checking over things like the support forums just to make sure that there's nothing I miss. So the review video might take a little while but in the meantime if you want to see any of my other electronic drum reviews and see just how much depth I go into then you can check out this playlist which contains reviews of things like the Audiofront eDrum in 10, the Gaver G9 C5 Pro kit and a bunch of other stuff. Don't don't forget to check out my store at theedrumworkshop.com if you want new sounds and samples for your electronic drum module and above all enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!